So should you apply a foliar fungicide or not? The first thing is, have you got the disease? So if you're growing a cultivar with effective major gene resistance, like this one is, this one's got resistance groups A, B, D, F. It's a combination the pathogen hasn't overcome yet in most circumstances, and you see the leaves are completely clean. So no leaf lesions means no disease, no reason to spray. So it either means that the cultivar's got effective resistance, or it just means that there's not enough disease in your region, or the season isn't conducive for disease or whatever. Plants look like this as they're elongating and flowering, no reason to spray at all. If you've got a crop, however, like this one, this one's a straight group C, that resistance has been overcome. And you can see here the black leg has continued to move up from the older leaves into these newer leaves, and we're still seeing quite severe levels of infection right up high in the canopy. And this is the one I was showing you before where that disease has now moved up onto the flowers. So no disease on the leaves, no reason to spray. So if the black leg lesions have continued to move up the canopy as the crop's elongated and now up onto the flowers, that's a good indicator that we'll get a yield response from spraying fungicides.